Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a slideshow on Canva. The first thing you want to do once on Canva, you are going to sign up using your email address and you can create a completely free account. After creating the account, I want you to tap on the search bar and from here you are going to type in slideshow videos. After typing in slideshow videos, you'll be redirected to this page. And the beautiful thing about Canva is you'll be able to create beautiful slideshows for completely free as a beginner by using these templates. So all you have to do is scroll down and you can see category right here. So you could choose a particular category. Let's say, for example, you want to create a template for business. You could select business. If you want to create one for social media, you could tap on social media and then select the social media platform that you would like to create a template for. Or you can scroll down and you can select any one of these templates right here. And by the way, any template that you see with the dollar sign, that means that you would have to be a paid subscriber on Canva to use that particular template. So all you have to do is scroll down and let's say, for example, I want to use this template. All I have to do is tap on it. After you have tapped on the template, you'll be redirected to this page. Then from here, you can tap on customize this template. After selecting that, you'll be redirected to this page and from here, we'll be able to create or better yet edit our template. And there are a few things that I want you to pay attention to on this page. The first thing is the left hand menu option. At the top, you will see design, then you'll see elements and you'll also see uploads. For example, you want to upload a video that you'd like to add to your slideshow. All you'd have to do is tap on uploads. After tapping on uploads, you'll simply tap on upload files. And from there, you'll be able to add the video or picture. And then later on in the video, I'll be showing you how to use elements. Then you can also pay attention to your timeline right here. As you can see the separation of each video. And for example, you can see that this slideshow is 44 seconds. So let's say you want to change the wording right here. To do that, it's quite easy. All you have to do is tap on the text section. After tapping on the text section, if you would like to change the font or if you'd like to change the words, let's say, for example, I want to type in simple answers. I can do that quite easily, as you can see right here. And then to change the font size, all you have to do is highlight the entire text box. Then you're going to tap right where you see 85 on my screen. And from there, you can scroll down and you can select whichever font size you want. And you can also change the style of the font by tapping right where you see Parlo Bold. Then from here, you can select the font style that you would like to use. And you can also change the placement or the alignment of the text by tapping on alignment. So if you would like the text to be aligned in the center, you can do that. And also, if you would like to change the video, for example, this background video right here, you can do that quite easily. All you have to do is tap on the video. Then from here, you're going to simply right click. Then you will see the option replace background. You're going to tap on that. After you have tapped on replace background, you could go over to elements. Once in elements, let's say, for example, I would like to add a video on the beach. All you'll have to do is type in the search bar right here, beach. Then tap on enter. After you have done that, you are going to select videos. And by the way, all of these videos are copyright free. And let's say, for example, I want to add this video to the timeline. All you have to do is tap and drag the video. As you can see right there, the video has now been added. And you can do this to any one of the sections or better at any slideshow. So let's say I want to edit this part of the slideshow. All you have to do is tap on it on the timeline. 
then again you can change the text box or you can remove the text box if you want or if you would like to change the placement of it all you have to do is tap and drag it and let's say I want to change the background color instead of changing the background video all you have to do is tap on the entire video then you will see the color box in the top left hand corner you are going to tap right there then from here you can choose any one of these background colors and if you do not see a color that you like all you'll have to do is tap on the color box right below document color and you're going to tap on the plus then from here you can choose a particular color from the rectangular box or you can tap along the line right here let's say I would like to use a sky blue color I can tap right there and you can see that the background is now sky blue and I had shown you earlier how to change the text and font size now if you would like to change the length of a particular section of the slideshow you can do that all you'll have to do is tap and pull it as you can see right there so if you would like to make it smaller for example two seconds you can do that by dragging it to the left or if you would like to increase the length of the slideshow you can pull it to the right as you can see right there originally the video was 44 seconds and you can now see that it is 49 seconds and another thing that I would like to show you about Canva that a lot of persons don't know is that you can now add animated images to Canva. Let's say for example I would like to add a bird flying across the screen right here. You can do that. All you'll need to do is go over to elements again in the top left hand corner. Then in the search bar you're going to type in bird. After typing in bird let's say for example I want to add this bird all I'll have to do is tap and drag it after you have done that at the top menu option you are going to see animate you are going to tap on that then you'll see the option create an animation you are going to tap on that now all I have to do is tap on the bird then I'll simply pull it across the screen as you can see right there and you can see how it looks and by the way you can either leave it original or if you would like to smooth it out you could tap on smooth or if you would like it to be steady you can do that and you can also change the speed once it is there liking you're going to tap on done and all you have to do now is tap on share in the top right hand corner after tapping on share you're going to scroll down then you're going to tap on download and from here you'll be able to download your slideshow and another thing that I should also show you in case you want to delete one of the pages all you have to do is hover over the page that you'd like to remove then tap on the three dots after tapping on the three dots you will see the option delete page you'll simply tap on that as you can see right there hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.